Let's get right into it. I've got plenty to share about the circular progress component. Q dash circular dash progress. And we're going to have to give that a value as well. So if we say 50, that's basically a way of saying 50%. There it is there. Doesn't look like much to begin with. So let's play around with this a little bit. First, we'll make it bigger so it's nicer for your viewing experience. And then, how about we set the color equal to something else like indigo. Cool. Or how about brown? Brown never gets enough attention. Brown 8, like a darky brown color. Cool. Another thing we can do is change the thickness. And this can be confusing at first because the number you put in here is actually a percentage. So if we put, for example, 0.05, that's the amount of percentage, uh, the center here being 100 and then the outside being 0. So if I were to set that to 0.01, it would be even thinner. Now, if we set it to 5, that's going to be 50%, so it takes up 50% there. And if you wanted to take up the entire thing, we can say 1. So thickness is super versatile and really handy to use. Another thing we can do is say center color and change the center color. So how about we set that to brown-2, just to add a bit of a brown shade into the center there. And then we can, of course, change the track color as well. So if we set that to brown-4, it's going to let us see that there's a little bit more left on the track. In fact, I think it might look better if we set that to a 1 and maybe this to a 2. Yeah, that looks nicer to me. What else can we do? We can reverse it. So if we say reverse, it just flips it to the other side. And it means that if we add more, so if we change it from 50 to, uh, how about 80? It's just going to go along in this direction there. All right, so let's get rid of that. What else can we do? We can also change the angle it starts from. And this is easier to explain with a smaller value. So I'll set that equal to 5. At the moment, it's starting from 0 degrees. But if we say angle is equal to 90 degrees, it starts from 90 degrees. And then, of course, you can do things like 180. And that's going to make it start from halfway at the bottom there. So that's kind of cool to know. What else can we do? Oh, this is an important thing to point out. We actually get a little bit of animation. So if I come down here and add a button here, and then I say at click is equal to, and how about we have a variable called progress that we model here for the value. And I'll set it to 180 when it is clicked. So we'll copy that. We're going to now model progress, and let's go ahead and actually use that using the comp API. Set up. Return progress, const progress is equal to a reference to, mm, how about 10 by default? There we go, it's 10 by default. We click on this button, and notice we get that nice animation there. What did I set it to? 180, that's wrong. I meant something like 70. There we go. Cool, how cool is that? We get that for free. All right, so let's close this out and see what else we can do. We can set a minimum and a maximum value. So if I say the maximum here is 1,000, this is going to be a lot smaller. And if we change this first number to 500, that is the new 50%. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we've also got minimum as well. So let's set the minimum equal to 100 and the maximum equal to 200. And now if we give it a value that's equal to something like 50, it's just going to show nothing here because it needs to be over the minimum, which is 100. So let's say 105. And there we go. Now we get a little bit of progress. So that is between 100 and 200. That is five units between 100 and 200. So let's change this to 150, which should give us 50%. Cool. What else can we do? Well, I might close that out. And let's bring this back to 50. And I want to play around with the center here now. There's actually some cool stuff we can do there. If we say show dash value it's automatically going to show the value in there. How cool is that? And then we can start changing the font size. Font-size is equal to 22 pixels. Just to mess around with that if we like. What else? Oh, we can actually tap into the center now. So if I come in here and actually throw something into the center, my center, it's going to overwrite that. Okay, so this is silly by default, but we can play around with this to make it look good. So how about we start by saying, Q-avatar, we'll throw an avatar in there. And this avatar can have a size equal to 
I don't know, let's start with 50 pixels and then just throw an image in there. Q dash image, we'll use Quasar's image component to get some extra functionality. And the source is going to be equal to https dot slash slash pixum.photos and we'll get one that is 100 by 100 pixels. And there we go. If we like, we can make this a little bit bigger, like 200 pixels. All right, that's a little bit too big. <laughs> How about 150? Yeah, and so you can resize that however you desire. Another thing you might want to do here is show the progress so we can just spit it out there directly and add an icon before it. So Q dash icon, and this can have a name equal to volume underscore up. Check that out. How cool is that? I think it's awesome. And one more thing I want to show you is that this can be an indeterminate state. Let's just imagine we're fetching the value from the server, and so we don't actually know what that value is yet. We can say here, indeterminate. And then we get this spinner. Then when we actually have that value, we can set that to false. So how about we actually set this to true, like so. And then when we actually have the right value, we set it to false, and then it pulls in the value and sets it there. That, my friends, is the Quasar Circular Progress component. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you in another video.